Okay. Um, welcome everyone. Uh, this is Virtual World ISB course 2024 spring session. And this is our uh, officially first session uh, together. Uh, some of the Irish students met before. Some of our students also met last week just to create their avatars and be here. But now uh, we're kicking off the real deal, uh, the, the real course. And um, today we're going to introduce you what we're going to do during this course together in this spring term. And also we would like to give you a slide about uh, your projects, your team assignments, and other uh, valuable information that you will use during the course. So uh, the basics are you are learning it, like you are walking now, you are hearing us, you are talking, uh, at least you are learning to talk, and um, those are the basics, and you're going to use that throughout the semester, throughout the course, uh, to communicate with each other as well as with us. So um, try to learn those as soon as possible, effectively, so that you will be involving much more during the courses and you will do a lot of interactive things uh, in the course with us together. Um, this course is basically, we started to do that many years ago, okay? And at first I was alone doing this course uh, with only child students. But then uh, I met John O'Connor, who is the Irish professor, uh, who was doing also a similar course here. And then we combined our courses. So we started to do a joint course together. Uh, since then, the course has been evolving. So the name Virtual World ISP stands for International Student Project because our students were internationally working in a teamwork and uh, doing a project here. But then last term, we get involved in something new, which is the student, which is called Student Challenge, run by an American organization. So as the class, we started to join that Student Challenge. So we embedded that Student Challenge in our course, and that is going to be your final project in this course as well. And we are going to give you all the details and everything that you need to know uh, about this challenge, as well as the what is required from you in this course. Um, I would like to introduce some of the faculty that are here right now uh, who could help you during that journey uh, in virtual world. So my myself, Magua Teriak, and uh, Murat, in real life. Uh, I'm an associate professor of marketing and I have been teaching in virtual world for many years by now. And that is, uh, I am this, I'm the supervisor, one of the supervisors of this course, one of the module conveyors. Uh, the other one who is missing today because he's traveling, my colleague, John O'Connor, he is also the other responsible professor from this course. Uh, and he's from TU Dublin, Technology University Dublin. So if you have any issues, if you have problems, you can either contact him or myself. Additionally, we have uh, our guest lecturer and also a supportive staff, uh, Sidearm Madonna uh, from USA and he is going to be working with you and he's going to do uh, a lot of things uh, with us during the course uh, one thing today that he's going to be responsible for is putting you assigning you in your teams and giving you your first team assignments so you'll be working with him today directly uh, the other person here is our course assistant uh, actually course assistants uh, Ginger, Arsin, and Merino, Chala. Chala is an ex-student. Uh, Arsin is, Ginger is uh, our research assistant at the university, and he's doing his PhD right now. 
So they are also helping us uh, with the with the course uh, this term. So um, as Saitarm mentioned, please add us all as your friends so that you will see us online when you are online. And if you need to ask us, you can find us easily. Okay, that is uh, one of the first thing that you should do. Friend us all uh, as your friends, also the staff. Uh, now, going from there, I will go here in front of this little board. And if you can, you can just move your camera rather than zoom on what is written here so that you can follow. Or, yeah, sidearm just dropped it down. The course learning objectives. Uh, so that means. The students, whoever take this course, what are they going to learn? What, what are the objectives of this course to teach you? So the first thing is access online communities and virtual worlds, which means online are located here in virtual world, which you are going to be working with in collaboration during this course. Uh, you will hear about other organizations. You will meet people from other organizations. You will be judged by other organizations in the student challenge. And uh, those are people from all over the world working for, some of them are for nonprofits, some of them are uh, freelance, but they are here. They are present as residents of Second Life virtual world. And um, people are spending a lot of time here. They do a lot of things in virtual world. So one of them is that to get to know this, what those people are uh, doing here, uh, what kind of communities are existing in the virtual world, and what kind of a parallel universe is this that is existing that you were not aware of maybe until now, but you will get to know that. The importance of this is it could, op it could open opportunities for in the future. It, you could find people from here and co start collaborating with, which I did in the past. So that is one thing. The second one is engage collaboratively in a cross-cultural online environment. I mean, when we say cross-cultural, look at this group of people here. We got Vivian from TUD. We got a lot of people from China University. John is here from Ireland. Uh, Sidearm is here from USA. So we got all those nationalities, all those different cultures represented here. And that is basically the cross-cultural online environment. So you will be engaging in, you will be doing things here. You will be hearing lectures, interacting with each other, uh, joining a student challenge. You will join a contest with other people all around the world and you'll be doing it uh, in this virtual environment. That experience. So try to get the best out of that. The third one is establish and maintain virtual re relationship and work in teams. So you will be going to working in teams. Green team, red team, and blue team. And you will be um, working together with those people that maybe you don't even see in real life. Only the avatars maybe you will see. But then you will be team members. You'll be working closely. So try to experience that. Try to find out what is hard to do that, uh, when you do like that and what is easier when you do to do like that and uh, what are the advantages, disadvantages. Try to learn from this experience. That is very important because we might be doing this more often in the future when you work in different organizations. Create original object content in life and personal blog. You will be creating things in Second Life. Like this slide, for example, it is created by Sidearm today and it was put in this environment and we're using it, right? I'm reading through that and you're reading through that. So that is. Um, just a second, uh, Rebecca is IMing me, so I'm trying to teleport her here as well. 
Okay, so that is very important to create objects here. That is really, really something that we should uh, learn about because you might be using that skill in the future as well. And content, you will be creating an immersive area as part of your project, which I'm going to mention later on more in detail, okay? And the fifth one is the final one. Uh, understand how to use virtual worlds for the society. How can we use this technology, this uh, virtual environment in, in, in a good way so that it helps us personally as well as it helps the society? For example, one example is that what we are doing here. We are here gathering and we are learning. We are using it for teaching as a course, right? So it, it, it's a good thing. Uh, the same thing applies to the uh, a lot of nonprofit organizations or other people doing, doing here good things. You will see examples of those and you will understand how people are using it. Then you might use it in the future in the same way, hopefully. So those are the course learning objectives. And um, I've talked about briefly about the course as well. Every Monday at this <coughs> hour, we will be meeting here uh, with, with our avatars. Okay, That is how we conduct this course. And um, it is essential to follow up all the courses because every Monday we will learn new skills, you will learn new skills, and you will apply it for your projects. If you miss one, two of them, it will be hard to catch up with and uh, there will be always something missing uh, in the equation. So try to please be here on time and try to be with us every Monday. Um, what we do is when we, when we say, let's meet here in SL, when we make the appointments, we usually use the SL, second lifetime, which is on, the, on your screens on the top right, okay? We use that. For example, now 5.23 a.m. So when we say to meet here, for example, 5 a.m. SLT time, we will meet for the class. That makes it easier because we have time differences between USA, Ireland, and uh, Turkey. So everyone finds out what is the SL time. SL time is set to the Pacific time in USA. So if you if you search for online when you Google it, California time zone or uh, what time is it in California now, it will match with the SL time. So when we say things like me, we meet here this day or that day. SL time this, and you will know exactly what time it is for you uh, when you do the conversion. Okay, so it's just making it e making it easier for us once you get the grip of that. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna stop here and uh, pass the mic to Sidearm uh, to talk about the team assignments and the, how you're gonna work as teams. Okay, um, now the project brief. Um, in the beginning of the course, which for the people who were here, but then the people who were not here, I told about this course a little bit briefly, which is called Virtual World International Student Project. And this International Student Project course becomes International Student Project Student Challenge from the beginning of last term which means the student challenge added because we started to work with an American organization to enter a competition, a contest, which is embedded in this course as a project. So the final project for the students in this course is to join the student challenge for spring 2024. And in this one, what we expect from each team is we will assign you with SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, to work with. 
Students are challenged to build an immersive environment that demonstrates serious learning in 3D. And this 3D learning environment will be about an SDG that we have picked from. Those are four SDGs, which are Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, those are from the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 of them. We picked only four of them for you to choose from. Quality education, number four. Gender equality, number five. Number 10, reduced inequalities. And number 11, sustainable cities and communities. So each team will pick one of those. And we don't want both teams are choosing the same team or two teams are choosing the same team. So we would like you to prioritize your choices. Like as a team, red team, for example, I will pick number four as my first choice, number five as my second choice, number 10 as my third choice, and the number 11 is my fourth choice. So if each team will do that, and then we will uh, go from there, that will be your assign, we will assign you with the uh, one of those SDGs for your project. The second thing is, you're going to research the intention of the goal and what is intended to achieve. So you have to make a research. You have to go to the uh, United Nations webpage, read about those SDGs and what they really mean and what is intended to achieve with those SDGs. You have to learn about that. Third thing, look at what you think might be a practical way to support the implementation of that goal, either in your own communities or on a global scale. So think about these things, how this could be a practical way to support that implementation of that goal and in your community or in the global scale. What are people doing? What is the best way to implement it? Create an immersive 3D build in Second Life that teaches what you have learned about the goal in addition to what the UN provided and demonstrates your team's proposal for implementing the goal. Your work will be judged on five criteria, authenticity, accuracy of content, cite sources, need to cite all your sources, accessible aesthetic appeal, interaction and immersion, and presentation. And we will talk about this in the second week much more in detail the rules of the contest okay for now your task is to do the followings in this project brief document to do those things the first thing the second thing and the third thing mostly the fourth thing and the criteria there you will be doing it during the semester the submission deadline for the whole project is going to be 24th of April. So you have time, but you need to learn how to apply things and how you need to learn what are the rules for this uh, project. You will work as teams. We got three teams in this course, red, blue, and green team. We are updating the names as we have the students uh, showed up here. So you will, you will know who is on your team. What we did before, uh, some of you were uh, not here, what we did before you came was um, we introduced the teams and then we walked, we met at the uh, campus area, the beginning where you started, where you landed, and then we came back here. And then uh, we did this task, they choose their leaders, team leaders, and uh, they uh, exchange information, contact information. They choose a communication channel, each group. But now, since you're here, you could do that with your teams again, okay? Later on. So, any questions? Anything you want to ask for now? Sorry, I, I couldn't hear Sabrina. How do we get the instructions? 
uh, we will give you note cards. Let me do that now. I can hand out the note card. Okay. Sidearm is going to hand out a note card, which you could open in world here, it means. And uh, there is a written text there. So you can read that from the note card. If you want to copy that text, put it on a Word or a PowerPoint or any other text uh, editor, uh, you're free to do that as well, so that you will have a copy out of this world as well. You will see a pop-up message offering you something from Sidearm, and you have to accept it. And it will yes. open a note card automatically, and it will be in your inventory for later reference. I'm also going to give you a link to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, which is also in the note card, but if you like web links. Uh, so this is how information is shared in Second Life, through note cards, which you can create, and also by sharing URLs, which I just did in nearby chat. If you click that, you'll open up the UN goals, and you'll see that there are 17 of them. But as Magua said, we're only asking you to select from four. Back to you, Magua. Okay. Any other questions about the project brief for now? Just waiting if someone is typing. Yes, Tall Ninja is typing, so I'm just waiting for her. Okay. Um, one more thing. Um, they, like the teams, are here right now. So get to know each other, friend each other, get the connections so that you can meet and discuss the, you know, which SDGs you're going to pick as a team during this week. Because next week, we will ask you about that. Which one did you choose? So we will start from there. Um, will there be a break rooms or place we could meet in within this platform? Okay. Um, yeah, you can meet on this campus anywhere. You can go to a private location on this campus, uh, far from the other groups if you wish to as well, uh, Tall Ninja. And you can group and uh, do things here, like meetings here if you wish to. Other than that, you can use WhatsApp as well as a communication channel, and you can even alternately use a Zoom session or, you know, if you share that information, whichever is practical for you, you can do that. Be now you're working as a virtual team. Syrian, um, in this Shaw virtual campus, the main arrival point is, we are in the Fountain area, which is where lectures are given. And if you have a chance to walk around later today, you'll see that there are colored flags in the woods. So those are the breakout areas. And when we already had red, blue, and green teams went and met at the red, blue, and green flags, which are outside of the trees here. So those are one option for you guys to meet. Um, it's a huge campus and you can you're free to walk anywhere you want and and sit down and meet there but we did provide you could just say meet me at the fountain area and then we'll go to the blue flag or something like that or meet me at the main arrival point and then we'll go sit in the amphitheater once you're here on the campus you can see where everything is and walk or fly there does that help Great. The only time it gets tricky is if you're tele, you like the student challenge is on another island 
and you can't walk or fly there. You have to teleport. Um, but everything here in Shaw, you can walk or fly. Oh, good. You're going to get a tour. Excellent. I was volunteering to give a tour. Anybody that wants a tour. Off you go. Okay, now this is the fountain area, as we mentioned. So we go through the forest here. We, you, you see the flags. The red flag, the yellow flag, the purple, blue, and so on. Those are for the teams together. So when we usually, when we give small tasks or assignments to the students in the fountain area, uh, while you're sitting there, then every team goes to their own flag and then they meet up and we usually put the breakout assignments for them here, like in this panel, and then they can read that and they can discuss it and then go back to the fountain area to openly discuss or the debrief with us. So that's what we did today as well while we were coming uh, we were just finished the breakout room session with the groups and um, we were um, asking them, I mean Sidearm was asking them the questions for debrief. So um, just follow me back to the landing point which is the entrance of this campus when you come from outside. This is the landing point. So whenever you teleport to this campus from outside, if you're not using your own landmark, you will land here. And a lot of people come to the campus as new, they land here at first. So they see here first. So that is the landing point. And from here, the buildings, as you see here, um, usually they're empty. They don't. We don't use that much. Uh, once you know, since you can make the class outside in a better environment, why why to bother to create a identical classroom and do that in there inside? But we have some in this campus as well, uh, some classrooms inside. But here, uh, those are identical buildings as we have in the real life, but they are not used by us much. They're just here. Then we go here, let's go to this one first. You see orange trees around. Uh, we also have orange or lemon trees around the campus in real life, so that's why I want the builder who built this campus to build orange trees around. This is a place where, um, basically structured and done by our students. Uh, they did a project about the sustainable development goals and um, they uh, create this place. So they were giving some seminars here uh, and guests here uh, about the sustainable development goals. So that is totally done by the students. We didn't do anything, but we just kept it as it's as they did it uh, because it, it it looks nice and it's also something that we are keen to use as our as part of our courses, the sustainable development goals. So this is something that we use. And
<laughs> Cleaning up on the web. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> when the when the the third year students take the, the class we're in right now, the fourth year students take a class called Meta Entrepreneurship, and they're given build building rights on the campus. And then Michael has to go clean up leftover projects sometimes. So this is our amphitheater. I mean, in real life, we have this as well uh, on campus. So um, that is, um, you can do some lectures here as well, like uh, classical rec lectures with uh, slides and, you know, other materials. And then um, the presenter goes on the stage, the listeners or the audience will be sitting in the seats and so on. So this is sometimes we use here as well. And I continue. Something more to clean up on the way. I have I to. Crying. This building is somehow more special to us because that is where our offices are in the real life. So, and that was where this course was first started. So I made the almost identical lab that we are using in real life in this building uh, at first. I asked the builder to build that. I took the pictures of it. The offices and inside is not as identical as it is, but then this lab is almost Yeah. Yeah. Because it has more much more detail and I mean the builder did something here actually. So you can use as teams or um, the students can use or you can use any of those places, any of those like the amphitheater, the S SDGs zone, um, here, this lab, offices as well, yeah, I mean, you can use all of them. They are, since you're on this campus, it means that you are not restricted from these areas you will be able to reach whenever you wish. And we have much more in the sky, but I'm not going to go through that today. We will show you later on. 